Lab TV travels to the Navy's Marine Mammal Program in San Diego, California to explore the dolphin's amazing ability to locate objects using sound. Well, one of the things that um, we like to do is find mines or underwater objects, and mankind living on land is not very good at finding things underwater. Now, the dolphin makes its living underwater, uh, and it's been doing it for a very long time. So tasks that we find difficult to do, they find easy to do. Therefore, we use them for that purpose of finding underwater objects. Uh, the number one thing that allows them to perform this job is echolocation. And echolocation is really locating objects by the echoes that they produce when sound hits them. Now, dolphins produce sound. We call them echolocation clicks. Uh, the clicks because that's what they sound like. It's kind of like a snapping finger. And they'll produce these over and over while they're swimming through the ocean. Uh, we know a lot more about what the animals are doing now by monitoring the strategies of the animals. But how the animals do it is also important. What we have here on this screen is a CAT scan of a bottlenose dolphin. And the red material that you're seeing is actually the air inside the skull because air is reflective to sound underwater. The dolphin uses this structure of air to actually help get sound directed towards these yellow structures, which are the ear bones of the dolphin. Now, unlike humans, the ear bones are actually separated from the skull. And if you notice the little air around them on the inside, that helps shield one ear from the other ear, and that's one of the ways that they are able to tell which direction the sound is coming from underwater. Now what I have in my lap is an instrument that we built called the BMT, or the Biosonar Monitoring Tool. Now this looks kind of crummy at this point, but it's been through a lot of use. I want to explain quickly what it is to you. The dolphin carries this instrument with a bite plate. It actually accepts it with its mouth. As it's moving through the water, an underwater microphone, or a hydrophone, collects the echolocation clicks as the animal's producing them. In the front of the instrument are two receivers, which are separated in space to the same distance as the separation of the ears in the animal. And these receive the echoes off of the targets that the animal has insonified. This instrument also has all sorts of sensors inside of it, so we know how fast the dolphin's swimming, uh, its position in three dimensions, and the depth that it's at. And we can take all of this information and we can put it into a virtual reality world to try and get a better understanding of what the dolphin is doing. Now what I have behind me is a virtual reality representation of a dolphin doing a search for a mine. You'll notice that the dolphin is carrying the BMT and this is exactly what it would look like when we were doing this underwater. The green object in the back is the mine that the animal is looking for. The yellow that you see on the landscape, that is the sound being projected by the animal is kind of like a spotlight. Now what you just heard were echolocation clicks, repeated snapping sounds. As he gets closer to the bottom, you will hear the sound from the bottom come back to him. And when he gets close to the target, you will actually hear the target as he approaches it. Now you are hearing the echo of the mine and the land around the mine. Now at this point the animal has got a really good idea that this is what he's looking for. But he's going to swim by it and check it out anyway. And when he's found it, he whistles to say, I found it. Now the sounds you hear now are the animal's victory call. Uh, oftentimes the animals, when they have completed the task that they've been asked to do, are happy with the fact that they've done well and will reward themselves with their own victory call. To find out more about echolocation, check out labtvonline.org.